Well, good morning, boys and girls, and happy Sabbath. Welcome to the Kindergarten Sabbath School class for the Daughter of Zion Seventh-day Adventist Church. I'm delighted to share the story with you again this morning, and our title of the lesson is Special Friends. It's going to be a very interesting topic, Special Friends. Let's pray. Please bow your heads. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for waking us up, allowing us to see a new day. Please be with us now as we learn more about you. Help us to study your word. Help us to study to show ourselves approved unto you so that we can live with you one day forever. Help us to be attentive to the story. Help us to apply it to our lives. We love you and thank you for everything you've done for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So our memory verse is found in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 17. And it says, a friend loves at all times. Isn't that a good friend? If they love you all the time, whether you're good, bad, whether you're high or whether you're low, whatever it is, they love you all the time. And so we're going to talk about that kind of friend today. The message from today's lesson, friends always care for each other. Can you think of some friends like that? I hope you can, but friends always care for each other is the message that will come out of today's lesson. And yes, it is that time, our good morning song. So why don't we sing it together? I hope you're ready. I hope you're excited to sing it. So let's sing it together. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, we say we're happy, so happy to see you today. One more time, boys and girls. Good morning, good morning, good morning, we say we're happy, so happy to see you today. And we are glad that you are here again to learn more about Jesus. So, what do special friends do together? Play, celebrate, share. As you look at these images, do you have a special friend? If so, what do you do with your special friend? Do you dress alike? Do you finish each other's sentences? Do you fight and then you make up and you're even better friends? Do you cry together? What about pray together? That's a special friend if you can do those things with them. Well, did you know that Jesus had special friends too? Our story is about one such friend. Listen carefully. Nicodemus opened the door just a tiny bit. The night was dark. There wasn't anybody on the street. He closed the door gently and walked to the city gate. While he walked, he thought about the new teacher. He had listened to him teach. Nicodemus had studied his Bible scrolls and was sure this new teacher was someone sent by God. Nicodemus thought to himself, this teacher must be the promised Savior, the Messiah that we have been waiting for. But Nicodemus was not so sure. He wanted to know if this really was the true Messiah. Nicodemus had important friends, and this teacher was not popular. Nicodemus' his friends didn't like the new teacher, so Nicodemus made a decision, young people. 
he decided, I'm going to see Jesus at night. And that is what he did. He walked in the darkness to see Jesus. I know that you are a teacher from God, Nicodemus said to Jesus. No one could do miracles like you unless he came from God. And boys and girls, in these images, it shows that Jesus spent time healing the sick, raising the dead, helping people to understand more about God. Jesus spoke kindly to Nicodemus. God loves everybody, he told Nicodemus. God loves people so much that he has sent someone very special, his own son, to help people on this earth. Now Nicodemus was sure Jesus was very special. As he thought and he read his Bible scrolls, he was convinced that Jesus was the Messiah the Savior God had promised to send. Not just because of the miracles, but Nicodemus in this meeting with Jesus at night proved to him that this was truly the Messiah, the Son of God. Nicodemus, he had a problem. His friends did not like Jesus. They didn't want Jesus to teach and heal people, so they tried to stop him. When Jesus died, Nicodemus was there to help. He didn't care if other people saw him. Nicodemus had been a secret friend, but now everybody could see he was Jesus' friend. Nicodemus was rich. He spent his money helping other people know about Jesus. He wanted others to be Jesus' special friends too. Boys and girls, would you like to be Jesus' friend today as Nicodemus was? Would you like to tell your friends about Jesus? If so, Say it with me. Jesus is my friend. Can you say that, boys and girls? Jesus is my friend. And again, our memory verse says, a friend loves at all times. And so, to close out our lesson, let me ask you this question. How can we show that we care about our friend Jesus? How can we show? Well, one way is to tell others about him. Another way is to do what he asks us to do. Boys and girls, Jesus cares about us and we should care about him. So let's remember, Friends always care for each other. Say that with me. Friends always care for each other. And for our closing song, we're going to sing, Jesus Loves Me. I know you know it. So let's ring it out loudly and be thankful that we have Jesus as our friend. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, for the Bible tells me so. Amen. And so that's our lesson for today, boys and girls. We have a special friend in Jesus, and he loves us, and he is there for us, and he cares for us. 
when he died on the cross for us, he let us know that he was our friend to the point where he died for us. So be thankful, boys and girls. Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus, for this story. Thank you for the reminder that you are our special friend. And Lord, we know that we have to tell others about you because that will help them, but it will help us to even draw closer to you. So God, we thank you for the sacrifice you made for our lives. Help us to continue to study, to be good boys and girls, help us to make friends, and help us to introduce you, our very best friend, to those friends that we make. We pray these things in your holy and precious name. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls, for joining us. I look forward to being with you next week. Have a great rest of the day today. Bye-bye.